During the 17th and 18th century, Bolognese artists would heavily influence the development of Italian art. And at this time, Bologna was the second capital of the Papal States. Gaetano Gandolfi's magnificent altarpiece of the Holy Family with St. Augustine demonstrates a sense of confidence together with a freshness and a vitality. The Madonna is an image of exquisite grace and the Christ child's gentle gesture of benediction is full of refinement. Gaetano Gandolfi was part of a family of prolific artists in Bologna and two oil sketches for altarpieces by his brother Ubaldo Gandolfi are also included in the sale. The Madonna and Child appearing to Saints George and Francis and the Immaculate Conception with Angels. Donato Creti's Christ in the House of Martha and Mary was once part of the Conti collection and it is known that the painting was part of a display of paintings in Bologna as part of the festive decoration of the feast days of the Blessed Sacrament. A painting by Giuseppe Maria Crespi of the Magdalene is an engaging image of the saint and part of a broadly diffused trend in the 17th and 18th century for images of saints with an undertone of sensuality, a sacred theme depicted with profoundly profane elements. At the beginning of the 17th century, Italian art underwent a profound renewal and Bologna was a vital center at the forefront of a change in painting that was defined by a new desire to restore the truth of things, returning to nature for inspiration. A new figurative approach in art was promoted by the Accademia dei Caracci and the Baroque style was born. Guido Reni's Fortuna with a Purse is an important painting, not only on account of its composition, which was immediately well received, but also because of the extraordinary fluidity of the brushwork. Reni's personification of fortune here is represented by a female figure who glides over the globe, covered only by a light fluttering pink drape as she scatters coins and gems from a purse. Chance or opportunity are here personified by Puta pulling on her hair and limiting and directing her progress. Reni's combination of the study of nature and the personification of classical beauty would dominate artistic production throughout Europe for the next 200 years.